everyone and welcome back to my channel this is Ellie and if you're here it's because you've seen I'm gonna be talking about the time where there was no internet as weird as it sounds there were ancient times when we weren't using our smartphone and laptops why did I used to read that many books when I was younger and yes it was because I didn't have a job because I didn't have responsibilities because I was a free human being and I didn't conform to the corporate laws but reason is there were no social medias there were no social medias at the time like we didn't have to spend all that time on the internet and as soon as we got it we kind of forgot a lot of the things that we would have normally done otherwise and I couldn't figure out what was it that I was missing so I made a list of the things that I used to do and how my life was when there was no internet really as one of the first things that come to my mind is phone calls phone calls were the only way to actually talk to people and I used to spend hours on my landline uh, talking to my best friend, talking to my friends, spending like evenings on the phone in my parents' bedroom with a phone that sometimes would just go numb because it wouldn't work very well and it was one of the really old telecom one and it was horrible. I used to phone my one of my ex-boyfriends and we would spend every single day something like three hours on the phone. We weren't even like boyfriend and girlfriend, we were kind of going out and I remember once he called me up at something like 11 at night but obviously the phone was in my parents bedroom so my dad and my mom were sleeping and my dad picked up the phone and he kind of like very very sleep came into my bedroom and was like he's a guy on the phone and i was like and i was like on the phone to him while my parents were in the bedroom and i was like hey and i just remember i used to remember pretty much well not all of my friends number but my main group of friends and parents and like family close people phone numbers i used to know them by heart i didn't need any like phone book or whatever for like the pizzeria or whatever i knew the phone number by heart because i've learned them all the time that i needed to like use them and also like my parents were very strict in the fact that like i needed to know their phone numbers and my grandparents phone numbers in case i needed it because yeah that there weren't really phones and if I didn't have a phone which I didn't when I was younger um I couldn't really look at my you know contacts or whatever another thing that I used to do when there was no internet was going to the library I used to go to the library so much that everyone knew me there I had read so many books that at some point the librarian didn't really know what to give me to read um I would know most of the books they had by heart where they were and everything I could literally work there and I used to spend hours when we went trying to choose a book to bring home and I used to read so much I used to be able to read a hundred pages per hour and um, I was very fucking quick and I just used to read all the time I remember spending entire days when I didn't like we didn't have, didn't have homework to do or stuff like that in my bed and keep reading I would read all the time I would read as much as I could and I would spend the night when my mom thought I was asleep with like a torch under my pillow sort of like Harry Potter in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban trying to read the books and I would hide if she came there and like thought that I wasn't sleeping or something I don't do that as much anymore because I get distracted I get distracted by what's going on in the world by what's going on on my phone and by emails and then what I could be doing of just looking at social medias and I slowed down loads. Also talking about libraries, that's where I used to do my school research because there was no internet so I had to go to the library and pick up books about whatever I needed to do the research on and read every single thing and like underline the paragraphs that I wanted and transcribe them or photocopy them and then bring them to my lecturer and like professor or teacher or whatever. I just had to do it all by hand and it was really funny because like most of the time we all ended up with the same stuff because we all went to the same library so it was like a big collective sort of research well at least i guess if you go to websites you can get into more interesting things than just the library that you've got like the than just the book that you've got in the library a very different thing was that you had to go out to see people and i remember for example when i was really young i used to ask my parents to go to my friends and eat in the evening or eat at someone's house or invite someone over and so they would pick up the phone look at our friend's phone book and call someone and be like oh do you want to come for dinner oh no we're busy okay and call someone else and then we would meet and we would like catch up with each other because there was no way that we could just do it on the phone and honestly like I would, I would see my friends in school so I would just either go over to them or see them afterwards but we, I didn't just call them for the sake of calling them I 
we were all in the same sort of like town so we could just see each other and we would i would call my best friend and be like hey can i come in half an hour and she'd be like yeah sure and i'd go there or like we would agree on something and i remember phoning my mom so many times can you come at like nine mom can i eat can i eat at this person's house mom can i do that and whatever because it was all about calling one thing that was different when we didn't have internet was that you had to buy cds if you wanted to listen to music you had to tape it from the radio if you liked the song and it was going through the song you just record it and there was no way that we could actually like have an mp3 or stuff like that like you couldn't download music the music was just on CDs and I remember uh, I bought as my first CDs a very embarrassing one from an Italian artist that I'm not gonna name but it was like 13 pounds at the time and I was like it's so expensive as I've said on my previous video about um, watching TV and waiting for things to be on TV we used to wait for things to be on TV because there was no other way that we could watch stuff and also we would get bored like yes we could use VHS and like put something on but most of the time we would want to see something new, something interesting, something different and that's the reason why we would watch TV and we would like see what's on in the evening. We used to have films going on at like 9, 10 plus 9 and that's how we used to watch films and that was one of the only forms of entertainment at the time, like I couldn't just choose to watch something as long as I didn't want to put it on on VHS um, but that also was expensive so we would just watch stuff on TV really. I'm not gonna talk too much about it but dating was very different obviously because like no phones, no chance of like talking all the time you had to like phone each other if you really wanted to from the landline that was expensive and yeah you paid a certain amount a minute until like they did this promotion where you could call for free if you called landlines and that was really cool so we all tried to avoid calling like um, mobiles and stuff like that I remember my parents said that they used to send letters and to be fair I have written letters to some of my crushes. There was a guy I used to write letters to, I never properly sent them but I bought the envelope and the stamp and everything and there's his address that I found on the phone book. Uh. And we did write letters at a time, um, they were a thing. And I still like getting letters, it's different from a text, there's more effort and more time and waiting and all of that. Oh, it's, I sound like a grandma but it's true. One thing that I'm very glad I don't have to deal with is reading maps because I am absolutely terrible at reading maps and as of my job we get a different location every single day so I can't imagine how it would be for me to find a random address in the whole of London if I didn't have an app or maps that would tell me exactly where the hell I have to go don't give me a map kids don't ever do the mistake of giving me a map Another fun little like details about my life before the internet is that I used to remember all birthdays. All of my friends birthday, they actually, most of them, I still remember. I don't remember most of the new ones because I never needed to. But as of right now, I knew all of my primary school, most of my middle school and some of my um, high school birthdays of my friends. It was nice to remember them because he, you know, people, you knew that people cared. Well now it's kind of like, it's not really the same is it? Also. When there was no internet, I used to play a lot of PC games, believe it or not. I, we had a computer, it just didn't connect to the internet. And I used to play Bugs Bunny, in like time traveling Bugs Bunny. Then there was Disney Magic Artist, where you could do stuff with like Mickey Mouse and GIFs that like would animate while you were, it, it was weird. I used to play the Spirit PC game. There was an Atlantis one, a Milan one. I had loads that came with like magazines and you would buy those and the PC game came with it and I had so many and I used to love playing them actually and kind of sad I don't do it anymore but how was your life before the internet what did you used to do when you weren't connected to the outer world as much did you used to read did you used to like paint did you use what what was your life like what do you remember from not having to be connected to everything and everyone let me know in the comments below because i think it would be absolutely so fucking interesting um and i'm so curious to know how everyone's life what was like like that that was mine how was yours thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Booyah.